eventually I found my way to, to Towns, but he was not actually that was through Steve Earl. Steve was like Steve said to me, You think I'm bad, I'm gonna introduce you to Towns. That was his quote. So I met Towns. What was Towns Van Zant like in working with him? Brilliant, mm-hmm. tortured, funny, uh, a gentleman. Um, I mean, I can remember him being total. I could not walk, but he would walk me out to my car. Like he literally could hardly walk. So it's okay, Towns. I got it. No, no, babe. Come on. I'm taking you out to your car. You can't get out to your car by yourself. I got to open the door. I'm like, you're going to fall on your butt. Um, and I worked with his wife, Janine, who's a character. Um, did several projects with them over the years. And just, you know, he gave up heroin. He could just never give up the bottle. I mean, he died he was in his 50s. It's really sad. Uh, incredibly charismatic. Um, his granddad, I believe, yeah, was the governor of Texas. So he was being groomed to go into politics. Uh, they gave him electroshock therapy. Oh, my gosh. Because, of, you know, just his, he had issues. Yeah. It's, it's so weird to me, but not surprising, how some people, the, trouble, the troubled soul types, just make the best art. The best are usually troubled. Yeah, it's it's kind of goes with the territory. I think they're wound. God blesses them with all of this magic and sensitivity, but it makes it very difficult for them to live in the world. In the because they think different. They're wired differently. They're, and I think that there's really a lot of manic depression. I mean, most creative people I know, their highs are high, their lows are low. I worked with Charlie Pride. Charlie was manic depressive. He was one of the acts I work with at NRCA. And he came out and talked about it. It was one of the first artists to do that. Thanks for watching this clip of Country Drive. To see more in the future, please hit like and subscribe.